All right, everybody, we're here again. Again, we're gonna focus on removing ourselves from positional control, this time focusing on the back control. Like we've talked about, this is very different um, to a pin escape because we're not stuck to the mat. They're not leaning on us with their body weight. Instead, they're attached to us in a very different way. They're holding themselves onto us. They're attaching themselves to us. They're gluing themselves to our body. What we're gonna do here this time is use superior movement to rotate inside their control, change the alignment so we can remove our body that way, or to lean on the person's body to compress or squash them to reduce the tension. So again, we can use our movement to change the alignment and remove ourselves that way. This time we're gonna have a look at how we can use the turtle to start to remove the leg control. As we use the leg control, we can then again start to turn down to the floor using the floor to cut them off or scrape them off our back. So again, something that's really important to understand is remember, depending on which side you land towards in the arms is also gonna dictate a little bit how well we can defend. We're gonna have a look at when we're on the bad side. So the bad side for us, because it's easier for him to maintain the control of our neck here. We can sometimes force that good side from here, but generally it's very difficult because I try to move from here and I can't. I'm already down on this side. He's, pinning, he's controlling me well here. He's pinning me between his head and arm, and it's hard for me to rotate right, to that good side. So we're actually gonna continue moving in this direction towards his control. This is also gonna help with any threat on our neck. If he has any lapels or anything on, on uh, threatening our, our neck, we always look towards the elbow and the arm to take the pressure off, and now we're gonna turn up to our knees. Now this time, he does a really good job of following us, and he follows us all the way to the turtle. All right? We start to turn all the way up, and as we turn up, we land in this control here. We're still addressing the arm, we're protecting ourselves. He's right on our back here. Now, what we're gonna do from here is because he gets slightly higher up on my body as I turn here, I'm gonna to start to like donkey kick, all right? Or mule kick my leg free to remove one of his controls. Now, as a general rule, again, you're generally gonna have an easier time unraveling towards the side of the armpit, looking towards the arm that's on the neck. So I'm gonna turn down to my left once I free his leg. It is possible to do the same thing on this side, but there's more likelihood of him getting attacks on my neck if I turn the opposite way. Because I increase the tension on my neck looking this way, and I reduce the tension looking that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the weight into my right leg and my elbows, and I mule kick my knee out. Once my knee's out, I bring it back on the inside. Once it's back on the inside, there's nothing blocking my left hip. So I'm gonna throw my body on that side down to the mat. And as I do that, again, I unravel my body, turning towards him. Now, there's a variety of ways that this will out the outcome will happen. He might stay on his knees as I turn down and I land on, on the bottom half guard. He might fall on his side like Lucas did, and then we have the same scramble. Sometimes he might hold me, I might be able to get on the top. So again, we're here in this situation. I find myself stuck in this position, okay? I look towards that arm and I turn all the way up onto my knees. He follows me. Once I'm here like this, remember, I always look towards the arm on my neck. I mule kick my leg and I already start to unravel from here. Ah, uh, Lucas was not very active, so I was able to come all the way on the top. He committed too much to the attack. He didn't stabilize himself. All right, again, there's a few different outcomes here, but this is a really good option to start unraveling the grips of the legs by doing our kick movement. And once the hips are free, I can start to turn down into the mat on that side. 